back. It is time for our Ask the Doctor segment. You send us the questions and we'll ask the doctor to get you answers right here on air. As always, Dr. Caitlin Merkin, the surgeon with Mercy Clinic in Bariatric and General Surgery here. Caitlin, always good to see you. Good to see you. So let's start. It's been in the news a lot, these wildfires up in Canada and the smoke coming into the United States. We've seen a lot in the Northeast, but as far as it coming here and that smoke not getting lower and low enough to really affect us, that's been the word. But let's play the what if scenario. What if that smoke were to come low enough? How would that affect us? Sure, so this smoke carries a lot of particulate matter, uh, which can cause a lot of inflammation of the respiratory system. So we worry about exacerbations of chronic lung diseases like asthma and COPD, but this particulate matter can also get into your bloodstream. So there's concerns for cardiac uh, complications of this as well, even things like stroke and heart attacks. We have already had several orange air quality days already here in the St. Louis area. So what does that mean for those who are at risk? Sure, so the air quality measure, as I'm sure as we all know now, is a measure of that particulate matter and pollutants in the air. An orange level indicates that it's dangerous for sensitive groups. Uh, sensitive groups uh, include people like extremes of age, so very young children, very old people, uh, people with chronic lung and cardiac issues, and pregnant women. Let's get to some of the viewer questions. Dennis is getting ready for his first colonoscopy. He wants to know if doctors can check his prostate at the same time and what questions should he ask before getting a colonoscopy? So Dennis, that's actually a very common question that we get. Okay. And your understanding of anatomy is accurate. You are in the same vicinity. But uh, asking your gastroenterologist to check your prostate would be kind of like asking your ENT uh, surgeon to check your teeth. Yes, they hang out in that area a lot, but their expertise is not that organ. Um, in terms of what to ask before your colonoscopy, I think the most important thing is to ask and understand the prep that you're given and how to take it appropriately. The whole point of a colonoscopy is to use a camera and go through the colon looking for these adenomas. If there's stool throughout the colon and that camera can't see anything, you're not going to get a very good test and you underwent a whole procedure for nothing. All right, good info there. So Sharon wants to know about high potassium levels besides staying hydrated, what else should people do and what foods are high in potassium and what foods maybe should be avoided. All right, so you should definitely avoid periods of fasting that can change the potassium levels in your body. Um, you should talk to your doctors about which medications you're on, particularly any blood pressure medications that may impact your potassium levels. In terms of what food to avoid, you wanna avoid things like watermelon, cantaloupe, grapefruit, avocados, uh, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, um, some lentils and nuts, all of these have really high potassium levels in it. Not quite the banana that you classically think of. All of those foods actually have more potassium than a banana. Let's get to a question from Mary Lou. She wants to know about over-the-counter allergy medicines. If you have high blood pressure, is there something you should watch out for or avoid in these drugs? So allergy medications typically come in two classes, um, decongestants and antihistamines. Antihistamines are relatively safe for people with high blood pressure, but decongestants intentionally cause vasoconstriction or narrowing of the blood pressure, uh, excuse me, blood vessels, which can increase your blood pressure. So you wanna avoid any medications with decongestants in them. All right, and I think we might have time for one last question. Wanna pop it there on the screen. So here's a question from Sharon. Are there any foods you can eat to help keep your white blood cell count up and are any foods to avoid? So there's no data that proves that there's any sort of food that can keep your white blood cell count up, which is something that chemotherapy patients often worry about. Um, there are recommendations on foods to avoid. Typically, you want to avoid unwashed fresh fruit or vegetables or any sort of raw meats or unpasteurized foods. Um, if you do eat uh, fruits and vegetables, it's important that you clean them thoroughly if there's no mold on them. And of course, practice good hand hygiene while you're eating. Wash your hands before you eat any of these foods. Dr. Caitlin Merkin, always dropping the knowledge for us. Caitlin, really appreciate it. Well, do you have a question for a doctor? We're going to go to work and get those answers for you here on air. Send us your questions at camelb.com slash ask the doctor.